Hey guys, welcome to another one of my videos. Um, I got this off of my friend Sean. She did a video either last year or the year before about her bullying at school. Um, I will be honest, I will say her bullying was a lot worse than mine. I will put a link to her video below and a link to her channel. I mean, even if I put the link to her video, you will still see her video and her channel. So, but anyway, I'm going to stick both of them below because why not? Um, also below, I'm going to stick my Twitters, my in, my Twitters, my Twitter, my Instagram, and my Snapchat. I haven't got Facebook back yet, but when I do, I will let you guys know in another video, and on Instagram and Twitter and Snapchat. Um, I've got to keep remembering that I've got Snapchat for you guys now. Um, but yeah, my bullying story, it was it was mainly when I liked someone and they were like. You great. Um, now I look back at myself, and admittedly, I didn't have that much self confidence. Um, I always had my hair up in ponytails as much as I could, um, but I always had a fringe out or a little bit of hair out, so it wasn't all scraped back from my face and everything. And I was always wearing makeup. Um, but I look back at photos of myself where I didn't do my hair or my makeup or anything, and I'm thinking. Why on earth did I not have that much self-confidence? Um, and I kind of put it down to the way guys reacted when they found out I liked them. Now, me and my friend John, we kind of had this like little banter thing when we were at school. It, we knew it was joke. We were joking around. We weren't being serious. Um, but the things we were going on about were serious. So, like, one time I'll shout out that Sean liked someone. And she would shout out that I liked someone as payback. And if she did it to me, without me having to do it beforehand, I'll then pay her back by doing the same. It was just how we worked when we were at school. I don't I don't I don't know why we did it. I don't know why we found it funny. Um But yeah, my bullying I did have bullying in primary school, but I don't remember it too much. Um I actually got bullied by one of my teaching assistants actually in primary school. Um I'll start from that one. Because that one's an interesting story. And um, basically, I was... I'm not going to mention the name of the primary school. The secondary school, I don't care. Um, but when I was at primary school, I was severely underweight. Like, severely. My mum and dad had social services on the back. Because apparently I was at such an unhealthy weight. I remember having these milkshakes, which were meant to help me gain weight. They didn't work. And they didn't work. Um, but my parents have always said, no matter what I asked for, they would give it to me. If I asked for lobster and chips and, like, five-star restaurant standard food, they would get it for me. They really would. It just wasn't... It wasn't their fault I weren't gaining weight. It was just the way my body worked. Um, so there was this teaching assistant who would walk around... Well, she wasn't really a teaching assistant. I don't know what she was. But she was, like, a helper. And she will walk around the little canteen, the little dining room area that we had, which was in the gym, and she'd mainly keep her focus on me. And anything I ate, I couldn't just go and bin my food if there was a little bit left on my plate. She would go, nope. And then she'll get a book out and she'll write down exactly, exactly what I ate. Oh, she ate half her piece. Like, she'll check what I have on my plate first. So if she knew I had two pieces of meat, so many, like, vegetables, chips and stuff like that. She'll kind of work out if I ate half of them, if I ate, them, ate the majority of them, or if I hardly touched them. And she'll just keep this journal and she'll date it and everything. And we went back to the the um, head teacher of the school and we were like, look, we're not happy with this. Well, I went to my parents first and then my parents went back and was like, we're not happy with this. So one time the head teacher came and sat down and had lunch with us. That was the one time she didn't do anything. Um, so my parents ended up getting sick and tired of it and... I end up moving schools and I end up gaining weight. So I remember when I first started secondary school, we had this kind of induction day before we even started. And um, we were all in this classroom with all the other people that were doing our form. And two of my friends from school, they um they looked at me and was like, Chloe? Like, I wouldn't recognise them because they hadn't changed one bit. I mean, they, admittedly, they got older. They got older by like a year and a half since I last saw them. And um, I was like, yeah. And they were like, you went to this school, didn't you? You were in our class. And I was like, yeah, I remember you. And then I said their names. They're like, oh, my God, you've gained weight. 
Now, one of them, like, they were, them two were best friends as from as far as I can remember. And they were quite close to start off with at secondary school. But then one of them, they ended up getting bet. I'll, 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 I'd like to say they were best friends. But, um, it... She basically changed and ditched her friend. Um, and she kind of looked down her nose at me since I gained weight. We were so close. I even sat around her house one night when I was in primary school. Um, now, to some people that may not seem that much. But to me, it was a rarity that anyone would want me around their house. Um, but, yeah, she kind of looked down her nose at me and was like, No, nah, you're big. Don't want to know you. Um, but I still stayed friends with the other one because this one wasn't skinny at all herself, um, and all of this. But I got bullied in year seven and eight, and I will be completely honest. I was one of these people that was like, don't want to brush my hair. I don't want to brush my teeth. I don't want to wash my makeup off. So I literally have like dark circles under my eyes, mascara, because I basically all I wore, wore was mascara. I wouldn't wash my mascara off, so the more I put on, the more it comes off, comes on. And the only time I washed it off was when I went in the shower. Um, I, I shower quite frequently in year seven and eight, in year nine and ten. Basically, I shower quite frequently anyway. Um, there has been times during summer holidays when I'm like, I'm not going to see anyone. I don't need a shower today, and I'll just let my hair go greasy. It it wouldn't be a thing where I'm like, I just I just want to be un unhygienic. It was a bit of laziness basically um but basically I told my friends that I didn't really brush my hair that much that I went to school my hair brush unbrushed my teeth brushed because I woke up late and I just couldn't be bothered I really couldn't be bothered so basically that ended up going around our form group and ended up going around the school but to be fair it was my fault because I told them that I didn't really brush my teeth or my hair um so obviously I did brush my teeth. It wasn't like I never, ever brushed my teeth. I did brush them. I just didn't brush them every morning because I was like, well, if I brush them at night, they should be clean in the morning. Um, obviously, since then, I've found out that, actually, no, they do get dirty overnight. Um, so, obviously, they've become more frequent. So, obviously, I'd always brush my teeth before going to school, but it turned out to be switched. If I brushed them before school, I didn't brush them at night. Um, I was one of these kids that was unhygienic when it came to certain things in my life. Um, and I was bullied. I met Sean at the end of year seven um, and we became best friends like instantly. Um, but I was, I don't know what it was. Sean was bullied throughout her time. I can't remember if she was bullied in primary school, but she was bullied in secondary school. And I, I honestly don't know why she was bullied. Um, because to me, she didn't seem like a bad person. Um, she seemed all right. Yeah, she's a bit weird, but aren't we all in some ways? There's always something we're always weird about. Um, if you if you say you're normal, then you're, you're not normal. You're not. No, no one is really normal. Um, but basically, I got really close to Sean. And all of her, most of her year ended up knowing who I was because of the fact that I was hanging around her. She was a year above me and I didn't meet her until secondary school even though we went to primary school together. The secondary school I went to was Upfield Community Technology College. Um, they had a navy blue uniform so it was very distinctive. It's not like the usual black and white or black and green or, you know... It had to be navy, navy trousers, navy top, navy jumper, navy cardigans, navy skirts. Had to be navy. So basically you're walking around the streets, there's other kids from other schools, and you know exactly who the people in navy are. Um, so basically something happened in year nine. Um, I can't remember if it was the end of year eight or the beginning of year nine. Um, but I ended up moving schools to Ringma. Um... Something happened where someone took my best friend's first name, her boyfriend's second name, my email address, and my dad's taxi number. My dad ended up having his own taxi company. So basically, because it's my email, my dad's company number, her name, his surname, 
admittedly, my parents thought there's only one person who could do it, and they 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 honestly thought it was Sean. Now, Sean either doesn't remember doing it, or she says she didn't do it. So I'm I'm I'm, I'm trusting her full heartedly. Um, it's either that, or she just doesn't think it's something that she would do. So, but I trust her full heartedly. I don't know who would do it. I don't know why they would do it. But basically, they cut, tried to get a loan out in this girl's name with his surname with my email address and my dad's phone number. No, I think they tried to get out a contract with a gas company or something. I can't remember what exactly it was. It was like 10 years ago now. Um, so, I ended up moving schools and everything was fine. Everything was fine at Ringma until the end of year nine. Now, I had become friends with these two girls. Um, Ringma wasn't like Uckfield School. Uckfield School was your form was your year in your year only. Um, now, it weren't the whole year in one form. They had ten forms. So the whole year was split out through ten forms. And with Ringma, it was houses. They didn't believe in separating years. They thought, well, you're going to be working with different ages anyway, so let's mingle them up. So basically, in my form, I had year 11, year 10, year 9, year 8, and year 7s. No, I don't, no, I had year 7s. We had no year 8s. We had me and two boys in year 9. I think we may have had year 10s, and we had year 11s, because some of our year 11s were prefects. Um, and then, obviously, once you move up a year, there'll be no year 9s. There'll be, like, three year 10s. So many year 7s, so many year ten, 11s, and any new ones that came in. So they had houses and they had forms within the houses. Um, and basically, that was fine. So these two girls, um, they're sisters. One was year eight when I was year nine and one was year seven when I was year nine. Um, so basically, it was like seven, eight, nine. Um, and um, basically, everything was fine. And we were messing around on this day. It was summer. It was, I think we were either in June or July. And basically, me and this girl from in year seven, her name's Sophie. Um, because this happened with her, I'm, I am going to mention her name. I know for well she's never going to watch my videos. So, if she does get hold of my videos, then God help me. Um, but yeah, basically, she thought I slapped her. She thought I hit her. I had this like carry on bag and it had a handle to put it over your shoulder so it's not like right under your arm because obviously it's a carry-on bag so you're going to fill it with stuff so you're not your arm's not like that so you've got a handle so it's like round by your waist and then you've got the handles to hold it with and I had the short handles on my shoulder and then the other one was just dangling so she grabbed hold of that I whacked my arm around to pull it out of her hand I was like let me go so she hit me so naturally because that was the first time I actually had ever been hit by a friend or from someone at school that was the first ever physical bullying I ever ever had um, sorry, just got to reply to this. Um, so naturally I cried and my friends that were there at the time, they cheered me up and her sister Kim came over and was like, Chloe, what's wrong? What's wrong? What's happened? So I told her the story. Naturally, being a sister, you stick up for your sister. So she backed away going, well, if Sophie hit you, she had the right to do it because obviously... Sophie won't hit anyone unless they've done something to deserve it. And I'm thinking that's not the right attitude to have. That is still not the right attitude to have to this day. No one deserves to get hit. Um, no, no one. No one deserves it. Sorry, my messages are coming through on my phone and my laptop. I'm sorry. Um, but basically... Yeah, so then my head of house, I told my mum, I called my mum straight away because obviously my mum was my mum. I've, I've always been a mummy's girl. Um, I'm now edging more towards daddy's girl f since the past few years. Um, I'm still a mummy's girl, but I'm getting more and more daddy's girl as we go along. Because um, my dad was basically working for the majority of my life. My mum was always there and everything. So I called my mum and told her what happened. So she called the school straight away going, I want my daughter to be authorised to leave school, blah, 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 blah. And from where it was that Sophie hit me, there was no CCTV whatsoever. There's CCTV all over the place. But that one little alleyway in the school between buildings, there wasn't. There was absolutely no CCTV whatsoever. And it's like, 
Right, okay. So now I have no proof. Great. Um, so my friends cheered me up, stopped me crying. I had wiped my face. I weren't wearing any makeup that day. So literally my eyes were probably red. So we walked past, we walked back down that alleyway. My friends literally covering me and I walked past them and laughing and joking because they're trying to cheer me up by telling me jokes. My head of years on the phone to my mum at that specific time going, well, she just walked past my office and she doesn't seem upset. Doesn't seem like anything's happened. And I'm thinking, do you really think I don't have friends that will try and cheer me up after something like that? Don't you think that you're going to put on a fake smile and pretend that you're all right when your friends are trying to cheer you up? You don't go, sorry, this isn't working, I'm sorry, and just continue crying. You don't. You put you, you, you try to cheer up for them because you want to make them happy that them cheering you up worked. Um. So basically, it got to the point where she said that I ripped her bag her strap of her bag, which I knew full well, it was on CCTV on the buses, all the time she got on the bus, because we would sit right at the front, and there'd be like a little cubby hole in between two seats, and she'd always put a bag there, and you could see the white bit, she had a black bag, and where it ripped, you can see the white bit, and you could see that from the CCTV, right, and she said to me, you ripped my bag, you ruined my bag, that bag cost me like 80 quid, and all this, I'm thinking, no it didn't, your mum couldn't afford that, Plus, why would she buy you an £80 bag for school? I know full well that I go through... I went through bags, like, no tomorrow when it came to school. So I know full well a year seven would. Um, this actually happened when I was year 10, actually. This continued over to year 10. And she said, if you don't pay me £80 or buy me an £80 bag, I'm going to punch you. And she kept doing it. She kept coming up to me going, you got my money yet? You got my bag yet? And stuff like that. And it's just... I don't need, I didn't need to deal with it. So it got to the point where my head of year weren't doing anything. My head of year, my head of house didn't do anything. So we went to her head of year. He sorted it out properly. He was a real gentleman. He understood where I was coming from. He understood there was no CCTV. He understood about the fact that my friends were trying to cheer me up. And everything was alright. Unfortunately for her, the police did get involved going, if you threaten, it, if you threaten her again... We will have to come and we will give you another warning. And this time it won't just be a slap on the rest. She actually dared say, so does that mean I just can't threaten Clubby again or can I threaten other people? And they go, anyone. You threaten anyone with violence and we will come down on you. I don't know why she had the nerve to say that. That is such a cheeky thing to say. To be honest, I wouldn't have the guts to say that in front of anyone, police officer or not. My mum came up, if someone's mum came up to me going, don't threaten my daughter, mum, so it's right for me to threaten other people, is it? I wouldn't have the guts to say that, because be, I'll be scared that they were going to hit me. But yeah, so, admittedly, I've never threatened anyone in my life. And if I did, it's it's one of them things where I'll threaten them and then never do anything, because of the fact that I'm too cowardly. Um, so yeah, after that, I ended up moving schools back to Upfield School. Um... Me and Sean, I think, were still in contact when I was at Ringwell, but we weren't seeing each other as much because we weren't going to school every day, we weren't staying around each other's houses. Um, I actually remember spending the half term between the process of me moving from Ringwell to CTC again. Um, and basically, got back in contact with all my old friends and everything, got back in contact with Sean, like, more in contact with Sean. Then I was, um, like, I was seeing her every single day. It wasn't like when I was at Ringmore when I would literally catch the bus home, go straight home and end up going on MSN. Because um, seeing each other over, fa like, FaceTime, MSN, cat webcam, um, Skype, Facebook, video calls, stuff like that, it's, it's not the same as seeing someone in real life. It really isn't. Um, so everything was fine and then obviously we were joking around about liking people I like two people in my form group um, one of them I'm not going to no, I'm not going to mention their names because obviously one of them's dead now bless his soul um, bearing in mind he bullied me so for me to say that but basically I like these guys and they they would make it a joke and pretend that they liked me and everything and um, one of them actually told me and Sean to go die in a hole because we joked around and went we love you and they, he shouted back going go die in a hole actually there's a really old no she's got it on her Facebook she's got it private on her Facebook actually it's not on YouTube 
Um, but yeah, so obviously the bullying happened from there. Um, I did YouTube videos where I sang. I started that beginning of year ten. Um, I actually did a few videos with Sean before that. I think singing. Um, and someone got hold of my YouTube, so they bullied me because of that. Um, I'm not going to put them below because of the fact that they're cringy as it is. I can't even watch them now. Some of them have got so many views and it's like... Oh, God. No comments on them. No comments on them whatsoever. Unless either that or they're waiting to be approved. I don't know. Um, I don't know what email account I use for them. So it's a bit like, oh, I can't get in there. I can't see if there's any comments to be approved. Um, but yeah, so I did singing videos... My maths, there were, people were talking about it on my table when I was in maths. My maths teacher actually came up to me going, are you Birdie? I was like, no. Nah. Don't even know who Birdie is. At this point, I didn't. I do now. Um, because obviously Birdie was trying to keep her identity hidden and everything. So she's like, are you Birdie? I was like, no, nah, I can't sing. And there was one song I sung, which was Aeroplanes by B.O.B. and Hayley Williams. And these two guys, they'd walk past me and they'd just start singing it. But they they wouldn't just sing it. They would specifically sing it out of tune. And it... <coughs> it got to the point where I just wanted to delete all videos. Um, I was... It got... I wouldn't say I was self-harming, self-harming, because there was no scars. Um, but it got to the point where I was scratching myself so far, man. Um, I wasn't eating properly. Um, it got really bad. Um, thankfully, I'm over that now. So. Um, but. Um, yeah, so basically all my bullying was verbal. Um, but there was this one guy, I... <laughs> Sean shouted out that I liked him and he joked around, kept going... You go to the prom with me, will you go to the prom with me? Oh, come on, Curry, please, I like you, you like me, let's go to the prom together. And I'm like, nah, nah. Because I knew full well, deep down, it was a joke. If I said yes, then it would have been a whole joke and it will be just like never been kissed. Where the girl gets asked by the guy that she likes that she, to go to the prom, he comes, his actual date gets out the car and they throw eggs at her and everything. She runs away and doesn't let her parents know until after. Um... So I didn't want I didn't want to risk that happening. I wanted to enjoy prom. It I actually didn't think I was gonna go, but I did. Um but what actually stopped him, which was a few weeks before no, this was actually in March. March, end of February, beginning of March. Um there was this thing called Rock Night at my school and I was a bit tipsy. I had energy drinks, one of my friends spiked my drinks. Um so I was a bit tipsy considering I didn't really drink that much. And I had energy drink in my system as well. And everyone knows not to mix energy drinks with alcohol. If you do, you're incredibly stupid. Especially if you, if you have yoga bombs. Um, but yeah, so I said to my friend now, I was like, go ask him out for me. Go on, go ask him out. A little part of me knew he had a girlfriend. But I still, I still had that little boost of confidence. Nell then asked my friend Jamie, then asked his cousin, and she actually went to go do it. Um, my friend Joseph was there. He generally thought I was joking about liking him. Um, he didn't think I was serious. He didn't think it would get to the point where I'd actually be like, yeah, go ask him out. Go ask him out. Um, I ended up running outside crying my eyes out. And after that, he didn't say a single word to me. Um, I got bullied in sixth form as well. But the thing is, is the school never did jack shit about it. I mean, to be fair, the teachers there, they're good. They know how to teach you. Um, I mean, I've got grades considering. Um, my maths teacher really did well. Um, they know how to help you and everything. But the one thing that that is not their strong point is sorting bullying out. Like, to this day, I've heard reports of Uckfield School being so bad when it comes to bullying like it it's got to the point where the school is is this little path they're by the leisure center and there's this path by it called laundry avenue and people who were smoking six formers school kids like 
one of my friends I knew, she started smoking from the age of 14. So they'd sneak out through the gates and everything. They've actually stopped that now. They're actually, they're locking the gates. Six formers have a special card to get out, but you're physically not allowed to leave the grounds until the end of the day. And I think that's wrong. You should not lock your kids in. You should not lock them in. I mean, Ringma, they lock the gates so you can get out the gates without a teacher knowing. But if you went to reception going, I need to leave the premises, you signed out and everything. Because obviously, if you sign out at reception, that's fine because then they know that you're not in the building. So if a fire alarm went off, but if you're popping out during your break, not signing out at all, to go have a cheap cigarette, the fire alarm goes, you all lining up, and they go look for you and go, who is she? Oh, God, there could be a fire inside, and she could be inside, and she could be in danger. Or he. Right? And, um, yeah, they're strong. It's not their strong suit. It really isn't. Um, so many people I know got bullied there. I mean, one... Once there is a community in that school, there is a community. There was a girl um, that had leukemia in year eight. She she ended up dying in February two thousand and ten, and her form group came together to start a talent show, where someone from every form there was someone from every form, whether it would be one person or two people in a group, um, went forward and did something like Brett's Got Talent. And at the end, they won. Um, we actually had Jack Ladd from Heart Radio Station Breakfast come in and actually give the score at the end. You paid 50p a ticket. Um, it was cast as a year eight talent show that year. Um, and basically, that was fundraising to get a TV, a DVD player, and something for her to watch when she was in the hospital. Um, so... But yeah, UCTC strong suit is not it. It definitely is not bullying. They care far more about their reputation, on what they look like, what the kids get up to outside of school when they're wearing the uniform. Like when I was there, it was polo shirts and trousers and skirts. The new head teacher came in, changed it from pencil skirts to pleated skirts, which kind of gave him the reputation of being a bit of pervert. Um. To be honest, if he is or not, I don't I don't really care. It's none of my business. I won't go there now. Um, because obviously, ple- pencil skirts, they stick to your legs. Pleated skirts, they can blow up. Um, he then changed the uniform to... Men wear ties, women wear blouses. I don't know if he managed to get the... Girls have to wear skirts all year round kind of thing. Don't know if he managed to get that to stick. Um, I still... From what I've seen from when I've gone to Upfield. Um, I don't think they are. I think some get, like in some weathers you are allowed to. Um, but I don't know if you managed to get that to sit. For the girls' blouses, the first button would be about here. So it was open. So you can understand. And they, they didn't have to wear ties. They had to wear the blazers. Um, I knew at Ringma if you got hot and you were wearing a jumper, you weren't allowed to take your blazer off without taking your jumper off. Um, because obviously if you're that hot, you'll take your jumper off and put your blazer back on. Um, so, um, I don't know if that's the same with you, with Uckfield. But year 11s, they had a special top, so you knew they were year 11s. Our colour was red. The year below was purple, the year above was purple. Basically, we got to choose a colour and we chose red. We were the last colour, we were the last year group that got to choose. They even took an art study leave away for year 11. Our head teacher, our principal, thought that it was best and better for us if they took our study leave away. He said, fair enough, if you've done with that lesson, you've done that exam, fair enough, you don't have to go. So we gradually did get some sort of study leave once we did the exams. But that wasn't the point. We are entitled to our study leave. Every school has a study leave. I don't think I know one school that doesn't have a study leave. And the fact that he took it away just to see if our grades would be better. Apparently, we were we were one of the most intelligent, high-grading years that he's seen since being there. And he was there from when we knew year eight because our previous principal left when we were in the end of year seven. And we kind of had to vote on who would be our new principal. Admittedly, he called me onto stage when he did his little presentation. But I... 
I'm sick and tired of bullying. The reason why I decided to do this today is once one because I saw it on my friend Sean's channel and thought, yeah, I'll do it. And two because my friend Marvy from up in Northampton, she put a post up on Facebook um, about how does she help someone who's been bullied online. And that is the cruelest way to bully someone. It really is. Like, I remember I put a status up on Facebook and loads of people commented on it. And I ended up signing out of Facebook on my computer. At that point, I didn't have a smartphone with a Facebook app. And I completely forgot I had text notifications on for anything. So my phone was going... Bzz, 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 with every single notification that came through. And it was just piss take after piss take after piss take. And I just couldn't deal with it anymore. I actually turned my phone off. And then when I next logged into Facebook, I turned the text notifications off. I was like, you know what, I'm not doing this. I'm, I'm really not doing it. Um, obviously, other people have had it worse than me and all of that. Um, but, yeah. So I just wanted to share my bullying experience with you guys and hope that it can help you. Um, my Instagram DMs, my Snapchat... Um, my, in, my Instagram DMs, my Twitter DMs and my Snapchat DMs are always open. So if you have any worries about bullying or if you want to tell me your bullying story, I mean, you can always comment below. But if you want it to be more personal, you can always message me on there. Um, because I know what bullying feels like. And if you if you don't feel like you've got anyone there to talk to, it, it can be a nightmare. It can be a real nightmare. It really can. So... But yeah, that's my bullying story from when I was at school. Um, I will stick Sean's YouTube channel below and I will specifically find her bullying story that she did. Um, my Twitter, my Instagram and my Snapchat will be below and I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget to subscribe.